so it's about six o'clock. It's Thursday, June the 6th. Um, I'm going to call the regular select board meeting to order. Welcome, everyone. Um, first item set adjust agenda. We already have a really long agenda. Not so changes. let's not, unless you've got something pressing. <coughs> Roll what we got. Uh, next is communication from the audience. Anyone here to communicate anything to us that's not on our agenda? Excellent. Uh, next, select board to approve minutes from the last regular select board meeting, which was May 16, and special meeting May 28. I can motion to approve the regular select board meeting minutes of May 16th and the special select board meeting minutes of May 28th as written. Second. And a second. So, any discussion? I thought it looked good. I wasn't at the special meeting, but minutes look good. All in favor of approving them as written, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Minutes are approved. Next, uh, town manager report given by Mr. Upson. Okay. Um, so the emergency watershed protection project, we got one bid from an engineering firm to do the technical assistance for those three properties. The one in East Hardwick and the two along the river. Yep, yep. I've sent that back to the bid or the, the one proposal was $170,000. We have $42,000 in technical assistance funding. I sent that proposal, that loan proposal that we received back to NRCS uh, at their request. They're going through it now and the plan tentatively is that the NRCS is gonna do the technical assistance which they said they weren't going to do. Mm -hmm. But they have hundreds of properties in this program, and they're not getting, some of the towns are getting no bids okay. from engineers. So they're going to do the technical assistance on two of the, the riverbanks. And which go, are where? What's up? Where are the riverbanks? Which, which ones are we talking about? Uh, one is up on Route 15. By the, the people that, yes. that, so yeah, one by the old Jerome building. Yep. There's that one, and then the one, one up by Gilchrist. Yes. Yep. Um, and then where else? Where's and then the other one is the River House. And the East Park. The River House. Old, old, post post old, the old post office. <coughs> Foundation is our mind. So yep. the plan is the NRCS is going to do the technical assistance. They're going to revamp the engineering for those uh, riverbanks. And then we'll, they're going to communicate with the engineer that submitted the proposal and they're going to negotiate that. Awesome. Great. Yeah. That's great. To get what they don't do done yeah. through that. To lower the, for the, lower the they're, they're So they're going to pick up some of the workload, which will yeah. take the cost yes. down for them. Yeah. And they'll pay the bill and the rest. Yeah. So we'll, get it done. we will have to accept that bid, but we just don't have that proposal, but we just don't have the final product. Yeah. But that project is ongoing and it's kind of great. Continue. Yeah. Um, the wastewater plant, I mm. uh, figured I'd give you guys an update on that. Uh, on the current project down there, um, we have the aligners installed in Lagoon 1. It's filling back up. The aeration is in and, and three blowers are going. Um, we're aerating both lagoons now. And we'll be, once the <coughs> lagoon level gets up to 10 feet, they'll be able to install the the hydraulic curtain is in. They'll be able to install the floating cover on the anaerobic reactor cell. So this is like one of the final pieces left of the project. And then they're doing final grading. And they, we have um, a little bit, I think there's like 142,000, 100, right around there left in the budget. And we signed a change order to remove the underground storage tank, the fuel tank for the boiler that wasn't in the original project scope. So that's gonna happen. And we're gonna do that before we do the final grading and paving down on the driveway. Um, they, the Yellow Barn project had to do the sewer connection, which I think has been done. Um, I don't know the final outcome of that. But then we're gonna, once those two projects are done right in the front of the wastewater plant, then we'll do the finished grading and the, the driveway paving. So that project is wrapping up. I have one question. Yeah. Out, out in front where they were stockpiling uh, sand. Yeah. Looked like that's been seeded and mulched. Yeah. I thought we were going to gravel that. Okay. Yeah. 
So we can. Okay. Right. That's that wasn't part of the sewer project. I know. That's the sewer project. Okay. They're just turning it into grass. We okay. can still put gravel there. Yeah, that right. was just yeah. their, their bed was to All right. Yeah. So it, what I had asked about the um, the trailhead, that's still, they're, we're working on that. The trailhead in the bushes? For no, the the trail, no, the whole, the Hold trailhead on. itself. Yeah. All right. In that whole yeah. area is different than it was. Yeah. And then last week we the MERP project, which is the Municipal Energy Recovery Project that the Energy Committee spearheaded, came and did uh, energy assessments and blower doors on all of our town buildings. Um, so they were able through this program, which is administered by BGS, which is Buildings and Grounds with the state. The, so it's a state-funded project. They're coming in and doing energy audits and assessments on all our town building. They found a lot of holes in this building, but identified where they were. And they're doing a uh, report that will be submitted back to us with uh, recommendations as to how to move forward. There's some high-priority projects that we've identified, which is the heater or the furnace, which is an air handler and oil fire air handler in the, in the ceiling of the addition at the, at the police station, which is an is a accident waiting to happen. There is an oil line that goes through the whole building and it runs about at 90 PSI, and if it sprang a leak, it's pumping oil all the way up to the ceiling in that building. So we're gonna address that first. Um, and then down here, the windows and the unit heaters are another high priority project. So we're trying to cut the cost of heating, mm -hmm. well, heating fuels in all these municipal buildings. So hopefully this project will, in the end, we'll be saving some money on heat. And also possibly saving the building from being dead. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a nightmare out there, that heater. Um, and then I have one last thing that I have to, um, take ownership of uh, that's uh, happening in town. It was a mistake that I made when I granted permission for uh, a youth in the town to spray paint over the uh, homophobic and racial slurs in underneath the bridge. And uh, at first, um, I laid out some pretty good guidelines and uh, they started out the project started out going well, and then the spray paint came out from under the bridges, and then we had a Facebook discussion, which was good, and uh, I take full responsibility for it, and I think it was a, a social experiment that um, may have gone awry, but I'm okay with it, um, because it got people chatting on Facebook and angry about things, and it spurred some discussion. So that's what we want in, uh, in, in the community right now um, is discussion. And I have an addendum to my manager's report and I'd like to bring in um, Rose Friedman from the Civic Standard to um, outline the, her, uh, the path forward. Can, can, I, can I go into the past and the future? Yes. Is that okay? Yeah. Let me give my little, little talk. Yeah. Okay, so I wrote a little thing. This is damage Tell the story. <laughs> It's not, I don't think it's damage control. We have a little disagreement about that. Yeah. Um, I think it's a great story about bigger issues in the community. And so I'm just gonna give a little context for the whole thing. So um, we started thinking last year about the kids who skateboard through town, which we know is a big issue and makes a lot of drivers feel rightfully <coughs> stressed um, and kind of panicked. Um, and we realized that those were a lot of the same kids that were making adults in town nervous for a lot of different reasons and finding themselves getting in trouble for other things besides just skateboarding down Main Street. Um, so here's, here's this little thing I wrote. So instead of asking um, how can we keep them out of trouble, we asked what kind of event could we pull them into? What kind of thing would they actually come to at the Civic? Um, and uh, so we started by asking them if they wanted to get together to talk about building a skate park in town because we figured that was a way to hook them into something that they felt really connected with um, and just start to have a regular conversation with them. Um, so out of that initial meeting, a new organization was formed 
uh, which we started calling a committee, but then became the Hardwick Skate Park Collective when they, once they recognized what a collective was and that there was more shared power in that. Um, so that's a group of young men ages 13 to 19 um, who are working on the very beginning steps of like seeing what the possibility is of getting a skate park built in town, possibly talking to the school and other landowners about a place where they could safely skate. Uh, not on the street. So since that first meeting, we've held a fundraising dinner, hosted a slideshow about skate park culture, designed and sold sweatshirts to begin a fund for our eventual park, and organized meetings with local leaders and skate park designers. We meet every Tuesday at 3.30. So last month, one of the members of that collective approached our town manager with an official request for graffiti under the bridge on the north end of town. There were some offensive things written there, and the graffiti would be a colorful way to cover over the worst of it. Our town manager saw an opportunity in this question to grant permission for something that this kid could easily have done without asking permission, um, but for which he had consciously chosen to ask. So he said yes, with a few caveats. The graffiti must be contained only under the bridge and no vulgar images allowed. And he then reached out to the Civic to ask if we could help to kind of oversee that project, help them to get the spray paint they needed and help to kind of see what it, how they did that. So we did that, we took them to Obashans, and then we brought them to the bridge and we watched them actually paint this frog and some of their like colorful tags, that are their personal tags, and that was it. And they had used up pretty much all the paint that we had supplied them with. And then in the days that followed, the images were, other images were suddenly appearing all over town, and we were continuing a conversation with those boys to ask them, did you do that? Was that yours? Was that yours? And most of them, they did not, they said it was not them. And some of the stuff is, is vulgar and is like putting themselves, like putting their own names on there. Um, so it's questionable if people are sort of targeting each other or if people are making fun of each other through the graffiti. So there's a lot of stuff out there that wants to be dealt with, that wants to be cleaned up or covered in some way. So now we're in a, com a very different conversation. So the Facebook, um, the post that, that OPU talked about was on the What's Happening in Hardwick, Vermont site. If you haven't seen it, there's like 45 comments um, about supporting the kids and their right to graffiti as an expression, uh, agreeing with the original poster that the stuff is ugly and offensive, discussing the subjectivity of aesthetics in general. I mean, it's a really wide-ranging conversation. So at our last collective meeting, a couple <coughs> weeks ago, we talked about what we could do about this cleanup. Um, and we decided to explore finding a professional graffiti or mural artist who might be able to help us cover over the worst of it. Ideally, someone who might be able to work with the kids to design and implement some new artwork. Um, and maybe some of it is clean upable, but there's a few spots that we think would be a really nice spot for public art also. So that might be a possible solution. So this collective meets every Tuesday at 3.30. We welcome anybody to come. We feel like this is a good vehicle for solving this problem as well, because it's already an organization that's in the process of fundraising and grant writing. So we're now looking at public art grants as a possible next step for this. That's, that's my story. And that concludes my report. And hopefully these kids can do the mural on the yellow bar. <laughs> I've seen some of the art. I don't know if it would be the best. Okay. <laughs> Have you spoken to him? Next. Yeah. Have you've spoken to him. Yes. Okay. Throughout the whole, throughout ordeal. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Who's so, there? I don't know. I don't know. So I have a question you. about the energy audits. Yes. Because we have one for the townhouse. We did one years ago. Yeah. They weren't able to do a blower right. test we because of the They didn't do a blower test in the areas where there's. Yeah. Um, so we already have that. It's not like. Vermiculite. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like we need another one. We know what we're supposed to do. We don't have them on all the buildings. Okay. They didn't spend a ton of time there. Okay. They just nice. they just did the lights, the heat, the anything that consumes energy. Okay. Yeah. That was something that the energy committee spearheaded. Yeah. Well, yeah. they did the other one too. Yeah. The, the then energy committee did the other one. Okay. Great. Thanks. Thank you. I'm done. Thank you, Rose. Yeah. Um, I'm going to skip the road farming report and I'm going to move right to the Harvard Police Department report given by Mike Henry.
So we've got uh, two people who are going to be starting the academy next week, part-time academy, uh, level two. Uh, everything's good to go there. The academy is going through a change right now. Uh, the executive director has resigned. And so the deputy executive director will be stepping up to that role, uh, which is a good thing. So uh, with that, the uh, Mill Street uh, uh, road sign down there, the solar sign that we have for speed, we've been working on that forever, trying to get that to work. We're still working with the company, trying to figure out what's wrong with it. We've sent stuff in, got it back. The town has put, uh, put it back up, and it's still broken. So we're working on that, we are aware. Uh, and going back to, to Tom, uh, road report, all, we're getting a lot of positive feedback from all the uh, crosswalks that have been put in. Um, really nice job. Just want to thank Tom for getting that done. Yeah, they look nice. They, there have been a lot of comments about how they feel like people are, are paying more attention mm -hmm. to the crosswalks. Um, right. And they were a test, so I'd like to see us move forward with doing the other crosswalks in that way when we're ready to do those. Yeah. In that style. Yeah. Let's see how they wear. Is it significantly more expensive? And I also heard that they, at night, they are not. As well it's not as reflective. Desk and, and, and hmm. you know in that conditions, rain stuff. They're not as bright as the white. I haven't checked it out myself, but that's what I've heard. Hmm. It's my. It's what. Well, they, they have the white. Good in the sun. There's the white the element. Day. Maybe they need to use a different paint on the white uh, part. Yeah, I, you know, during the day they definitely stick out much, much better mm -hmm. for sure. You good? I'm good. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> See what you got. Appreciate it. Um, it's quick. Yeah. Uh, good job. Under good. 60 seconds. All good right, job. moving along. Item 1, select board consider approving a liquor license and tobacco license, which is in here somewhere. I make a motion that we uh, approve a first class license for uh, Arabic House of Pizza, and tobacco. And tobacco license for DG Retail LLC, doing business as Dollar General. Second. Any discussion on those? No, no uh, infractions or anything. What it says at the bottom. Yeah. Yep. Good. So, all right. So, all in favor of approving those licenses, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next, select board, uh, item two, select board to hear from Daughters of the American Revolution about a community memorial garden. Should I come forward? Sure. Just, you can stand and just tell us your name and... I'm Janine Young, and this is Elaine Bellavance. We are both members of the Daughters of the American Revolution of the uh, St. John de Cuevacar chapter, which is out of St. Johnsbury. Um, the Daughters of the American Revolution are, have a project where they install Never Forget Gardens for our, locate, uh, for our veterans. We are considering sponsoring a Never Forget Garden somewhere. I and some of us are looking at probably at the Memorial Park here in Hardin would be a good idea since it's already got veterans monuments and recognizes veterans at, at the park. And just a suggestion at this point, the chapter hasn't even decided if we're going to do a garden, but we have to find out if there's a place that we do want it. The, a little bit about the Never Forget Gardens, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Never Forget Garden is a nationwide invitation to all Americans and freedom-loving people to plant gardens as a visual way to represent America's unwavering commitment to our sacred duty to recognize, remember, and honor our veterans and their families, now and for many years to come. DA attractors and members are encouraged to work with local government agencies, cemeteries, parks, garden clubs, and service organizations to promote and plant the gardens. This is a wonderful conservation opportunity to plant gardens as a visual way to honor veterans. These gardens can contain some or all of the suggested plants or use native plants. There's no restriction on the plants or the design, and native plants generally require less water and care. A Never Forget Garden has an official 11 by 17 inch stone Never Forget Garden marker from the Daughters of the Honor Guard of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Our chapter would provide that marker and would be donated by actually one of our members. A Never Forget Garden uses the language of flowers as a time-honored way to express patriotism and connect each of us to all those who have served and sacrificed on behalf of America 
as well as our commitment to the values that define us as Americans. I'm not sure who takes care of your memorial park at, here in town. I didn't notice any flower gardens there. Uh, I don't know if there are any flower gardens. I haven't noticed one. I took some pictures and didn't see a flower garden. But I don't know who, like Moser, if it's a town Moser, if you hire that out. We won't, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. If the DAR should put in a garden, it would be up to us to have to maintain it. Now that could be partnering with another service organization in town or in the area to help with that. Again, our chapter needs to determine if we will pursue the project and where it would be located. That's why I suggested Memorial Park in Harvard as a location for the Never Forget Garden that we can bring back to our chapter for consideration. I have a marked photo here of an area in the Memorial Park that you might consider if you so choose. One of the recommendations for a, a Never Forget Garden is have a bench where people can see it. So this is a couple of views of it, and that squiggly line is kind of the general area where I would think it would fit well. If you sit on the bench, you have to face this way, but you, know, you can almost turn your head. So just to review on our side, somebody can confirm or deny my understanding of that. The Memorial Park is town land, I think, right? Yeah. But the the most of the memorial stuff in there was Legion. Uh, from the Legion, mm -hmm. right? The yeah. American Legion. Mm -hmm. okay. But we control it. Mm -hmm. Right. Obviously, we, we split so that. It's good but to coordinate with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that would be Our town electrician just installed new lights because the other lights weren't working. So when if you go by at night, you can see the new lights. Um, we split the electric bill three ways three with ways. Um, the Legion and Public Rescue also contributes just yeah. because. You know. So I certainly would not, I would support support this, but they would need coordinate. We need to yeah. coordinate a little bit to make right. sure think everybody else is happy with it and, and, and find another group or maybe the Conservation Commission or somebody to push this through. I think that we support it, all the, the Legion, mm -hmm. the Legion of Rescue Squad in the town, all should grant permission, right. mm -hmm. and we should include the Conservation Commission. Just so I make a motion that we grant uh, permission to move forward to the other entities. Second. All right. I don't know if we need a motion, but done deal. We've already so made. <laughs> and second, one. So any other discussion? And it's pretty close to the pause place and we're supposedly we're doing something so we're not that. we're not talking yeah, about a place here. Yeah. we're not talking about a place we're not going in the weeds we're we're saying okay. that as a select board I have no we consider moving this forward to okay. the entities that our town managers well are. I think Sherry's rightly pointing out that there's also there's a the other things going on rail trail facing uh, aspect right yeah. there so but I think that's on the other no? side Huh? No, no, not necessarily. Been, we could discuss thing. it for a few minutes. It's just another thing Basically to just consider. But there is there is a lot of lawn on that trunk. There is. So I think, yeah, I, I a think, think the point is more that we agree that it's a good thing to have and we're not opposed to it, but that it is a further discussion with the Legion and the Rescue Squad mm -hmm. and the town, and that right now we don't necessarily need that further discussion, but that we agree to it mm -hmm. and for further consideration of where it will be placed. Thank so you does too. it really need like a motion or just a general consensus? Mm -hmm. I already made the motion. Okay. Put it it's on already the table. seconded. <laughs> if we, we need, if we need it, it's there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, yeah. We, we might come back with, oh, yeah, that's fine. We might come back with several locations that are okay. suitable okay. and yeah. for your you know consideration right. and approval. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and like I said, we have to take it back to our chapter and yeah. maybe yeah. somebody else has another idea of where it was. But yeah. for anybody who wants to see, this is the, um, the stone. Stone that but it's very thin, so usually they'll put it like onto another stone or onto something else, so it's not necessarily a standalone item, but and you can also preemptively reach out to the Legion and talk yeah. to them about yeah. that. Mm -hmm. talk to the Legion and uh, you said the Heart of, Heart of Heart Rescue. Rescue. Yeah, okay. conservation. Mm -hmm. They have um, yep. interest there. Seems like well, a great the reason they split the, their interest is they split the light bill because they yeah. have the tree. Right. That's their interest. They don't right. have 
control over. But one of the most controversial things that has ever happened since I've been on the slide board. the tree. I agree that. <laughs> but it all that tree. <laughs> I, tree. I agree, and I'm not. It's just very. So, so I think it's. I think. Do, is it safe yeah. to say that we all agree that that it's a good thing as long as the location ends up being a good one? Mm -hmm. Now, when you mentioned the rail trail, how mm -hmm. far out does the rail trail? Um, I have to look at the map. Because right because this is. Yeah. We're a long of, ways away from that. Yeah, because this is sort of uh, in line with that bench that I believe is the Legion bench. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of back. But um, again, it's yeah. just 30 feet is the right way. 30 feet. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> but, and I failed to mention, I, I did uh, graduate from Hartford Academy. I live in Craftsbury. So I, on local in New Lane, is in Walden. Yeah. Family, uh, family. It's family from Hartford. So it's not like we're coming in from, <laughs> swooping in from nowhere. Anyway, that's great. Now we appreciate you. Yeah, it's appreciate great. you coming. Um, Casey, can you just, since we've traveled a little ways in our discussion, could you read back what you have for a motion? Um, to move forward with permission for the garden concept after discussing with the Legion and Harvard Rescue. Great. So that's the motion on the table. Uh, it's been seconded. We've had some discussion. Any more discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you very much. And yeah, thank you. Mr. Upson has my contact information, so if there are any questions either way, we're great. Thank you so much. Yeah, it'd be nice to, be nice to have some flowers in there. <laughs> uh, thank you. Awesome. Where are we? Three. Uh, select board to hear from the executive director of Heartbeat Life Sharing, George McWilliams. Yeah, good evening. Hi. I wanted just to start by saying thank you so much for maintaining the town farm road up there. <laughs> Quite a road. Glad that's our access, right? And um, it was also great this spring. We're just so grateful for that. So thank you. Um, I wanted to just sort of put us back in front of you, the small community just around the corner in Hardwick, um, providing lives of dignity, opportunity, and community for citizens with disabilities in a cost effective model that is fully integrated with the community. Um, we're licensed as a um, therapeutic residence by the Vermont Department of Aging and Independent Living. And 14 citizens with intellectual and developmental disabilities are supported in the community. And uh, in four homes that um, comprise usually three or four of, of, of um, are what we call our friends, with usually with a family and two or three volunteers or coworkers who who help them in the home. We're totally dedicated also to, to a kind of agricultural life. There's a farm there with a small dairy herd, a small beef herd, chickens, eggs, um, vegetable gardens, and, and uh, orchards there. So um, we've got a small pond, and it's, it's really a beautiful life for these individuals uh, who, who don't have a lot of opportunities elsewhere. And it's, a, it's a great challenge to find housing for folks with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I can talk about this is my wife, Sharon, by the way. Um, <coughs> and we're thrilled to be in town. Uh, we did kind of swoop in from outside. I worked in, the, in this field for, for many years in Massachusetts and came to Hardwick in September. So uh, it's been a wonderful time to, to be here this, this last year. Um, so they also have opportunities to do uh, uh, sort of arts and crafts. We have uh, a felting studio. We have a woodwork uh, wood shop and um, sort of other opportunities for, for arts and crafts and so on. We also have a large hall that is just a beautiful venue that is available to the community and you can invite other organizations, concerts, musicians, and things to to have events there, which is which is a wonderful thing. The community is part of a, a larger movement called Camp Hill, which is about 120 communities worldwide of intentional communities where people uh, choose to live uh, both with disabilities and without disabilities, and um, kind of in a harmonious, uh, collaborative uh, lifestyle that kind of raises the life, you know, the quality of life for everybody. Um, I think some of you uh, in the town might be aware we're, we're developing a fifth house now, which will add another three 
places for folks with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Um, so in increasing our, our, our offerings uh, to the community. Um, maybe, maybe there will be in one day a further house. I think that would probably be the end of our of our development. And um, wanted to say that we're welcome. We welcome visitors and guests anytime. So if you'd like to. Face it as we'd love to have you. So I'm so grateful to, to be in town, and um, I'll leave some notes for you if you want to. Great. Thank you so you. much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so the folks that you're serving are they are they local folks or folks from Vermont or from Most all of them over are local. Country? Yeah. Most of them are local. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A few of them have come from out of state, but that was yeah, 20. So. You know, some of them 20 years ago. So mm -hmm. by now they're. No, that's fine. That's just that was a question. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in uh, so without being uh, dragged in. Yeah. <laughs> no, we you, actually you, came. No, I asked. You don't have any <laughs> ask or anything. Yeah. We, we, we just wanted to say hi. Um, I'm, I'm relatively new, so I just wanted to meet you and, and uh, kind of open up dialogue if, if that's ever necessary. Good job. That goes a long ways with guys. <laughs> <like you. Yeah. laughs> just on a personal note, I was actually born in a Camp Hill school serving children with developmental and intellectual disabilities um, in Pennsylvania. So then having a long career in between kind of coming back and home ended up being in Vermont. So it's been wonderful for us to be here. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, great. Thank you so yeah, thanks so much for coming. Yeah. All right. Um, going to move us to item four, select board to review and approve the loan documents for the town's line of credit with Union Bank to supplement flood repairs. And this is actually two, right? Um, yep. So there's, um, at a previous meeting, we approved up to $1,025,000, but they actually just have to separate them because some of it is sewer and some of it is general. So the total is that amount. Um, and so there's one note for 675000 for sewer and another for 350000 for general. So they're identical documents but different amounts. Um, and it doesn't exceed the one million twenty five that you previously approved. So just somebody to approve and sign the documents. And Is it who do you need all everybody. of us to sign? Everybody yeah, signs. Everybody signs. All right, so we need a motion to yeah. approve the loan documents for yeah. the amount that Casey just read us. Um, for a line of credit for supplemental flood repairs. Two yeah. lines of credits, really, yeah. Two lines of credits, mm -hmm. okay. All right, so that's, Second. that's a good motion. Thank you. Any discussion on those? We've already been around on this before. All right, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion to carry. two sets, everything is marked where you sign. Okay. Next is item five, select board to review and consider approving renewal documents for Heart of Electric's line of credit at Union Bank. Um, uh, I did try to read through those, there are a lot of them. Uh, so I, I feel as though my, <coughs> uh, I kind of, I thought we were being kept up to date on what's going on, but uh, as I gossip today tells me we have a new interim Manager, so that tells me that I'm really not being kept right up to date. Yep. See what I'm saying? During so a, things during are a, moving. During kind of a time. They're moving, yeah. So maybe it would be. And I'm surprised not seeing them here, to be honest with you. But, but yeah, they usually come to the second one. Well, well it's, this but is an unusual time, like yeah. I say, so. Well, if there's going to be an ask, it's usually nice to have somebody to ask questions to. Well, I don't want to just ask, I want to update them. No, no, but I mean, Keely was saying we have. They're asking to sign. Yeah, that's special. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's really special. <laughs> um, so I guess, do you know anything? I just know that you signed it. I, I mean, I'm not going to. I heard it. I understand uh, the need. They talked about this previously. That's a Christian man. That's a day. You wait your turn. <laughs> <laughs> so I can just. I, I'm so sure. it's fine. It's not about him. It's about yeah. we, we haven't heard anything for a month now. On, and I think we should. And it's my yeah, understanding is that point. my understanding is that a half-time person shared with Morrisville Water and like. Uh, yeah, I'm just yeah. again. It's not yeah. just that. It's like what's going on. What's, yeah. What's going down over there? You know what I mean? Yeah. We, we one meeting, you know, show that we're the parent, and then mm -hmm. we forget about the kid. Wait, which one of me signed? When I room. <laughs> 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 
Doesn't mean the kids behave, does it? Definitely not. <laughs> anyway, so bringing us back into the, um, uh, the so this is a line. They they are also seeking a line of credit. This is a renewal. This yeah, they have this a renewal. Line. Right, and just for operating expenses, the only thing that I would like to do is I think it's the second thing. There's like a bunch of documents, maybe it's a resolution. I think the first paragraph of the second one said lists the select board and the board of commissioners and then in parentheses says the legislative bodies of the town. I want to strike that legislative bodies because I don't believe that the board of commissioners is a legislative body of the town. So if we could just Cross that out, then I'm That's right. good with I see what you're saying. They, they could be part of this decision. They can say uh, yeah, that, the select yeah. board and the board of commissioners, but it shouldn't yeah. try to say that the it's board of commissioners is a legislative body. Right. Is it not the same? Right. Well, it is. It is interesting because normally when they do that in parentheses with, um, it's almost like a here and after referred to as legislative, yep. but they don't refer to that again, so, no, it so it's not really necessary, I see what you're saying, yeah. It's not necessary and it's uh, misleading, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anywhere in the rest of that document where it says it refers to legislative bodies again, because normally it would say here and after refer to as such, but it doesn't, doesn't refer to them again, so. No, it just refers to the borrower or something. It's kind of, but it, it makes it sound like they are a legislative, we both are legislative bodies. Well, nothing would be of, the, of the town is the key. They're a legislative body of the department. They are. Yes. They can make decisions based on the department, but they yeah. can't, they're not no, a legislative body of the town. We are. The town. Correct. Right. So, yeah. Well, I guarantee if we don't approve this, Let's we'll, go we'll get some information next, <laughs> next time. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Um, so, I, can go so away, but. I, I would like a motion to approve. If if people, I mean, I think it's prudent for the responsible running of the Lake Department to have that uh, credit right. renewed. So, if people are amenable, I would entertain a motion to. Approve I'll make the a motion that, that we that. we strike that, approve it, but make. Please ask for consistent updates during this transition period. So we have, that's a motion from Danny to approve the to approve it. That would striking the legislative body yeah. statement. The second and a second. Any more discussion? I just have one. Yeah. No, 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 I'm good. I just answered it. Okay. Okay. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 You seem to make it good. Yeah. Motion <laughs> carries. Especially with that signature. So <laughs> we all lose our houses. <laughs> all right. So there's going to be another. Thing yeah. awesome. the next is um, <laughs> item six. Select board to consider appointing Eric Herbs. Is that correct? Um, to the Harvard Conservation Commission for the four year term ending June 30th, 2028. So moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 That's the most attended board we have yeah. in the town. Hang on. So I had no, I think four, oh, yeah. four eyes. Aye. So, all right. So all right. So the motion carries. That was everybody. <clears throat> okay, that's good. So next, item seven is select board to consider appointing Lindsay Osteen as second constable. Term expires, town meeting 2023. She agreed to do that. 2025. Who? So I do have to ask who who Lindsay is and. Oh, Lindsay's my neighbor, and she is president of the uh, rescue squad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's met time she's, she's well, she's level Why does she? Well, she's, she's a full-time certified law enforcement. Level three, law enforcement officer. So she wants to come to work for us. No. no. She wants to be a constable. <laughs> no. Does that mean she can give out parking tickets? So uh, that was my other question, not knowing this person. Why? What does being the second constable give? What's the benefit to that? Uh, it gives. Why would one want to be a second constable? Well, it's because the first is taken. Yeah, but that's the first do it. You know, it was nowadays. I'm just Larry. curious. That's right. Yeah. Who? Larry. 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 First one. Right. So nowadays, what? They don't do a lot like they, they used to enforce laws back in the day. So one of the things we're utilizing for, like I use Larry for parade. 
I, I don't have enough people, so yeah. I can supplement them. I've also already tasked Lindsay with helping us out with the parade. A couple of things. So, you know, just little things like that. Larry's also the dog officer, so uh, just makes sense. I mean, sense I'm all for it. I just, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad somebody's doing it. I just Lindsay's on the fire department, president of the rescue squad. She's level three certified. She needs. And she wants to help. Then come to work for us. <laughs> I've tried. Yeah, sure she al she's that. also a working on her a PhD right now for yeah. physical therapy. Yeah. So. Yeah, she's smiling. No offense, but she's yeah. right. No. I think <laughs> she's <laughs> you're right. She's <laughs> smiling in a cop. Yeah. She's smiling in a cop. <laughs> I'd like to make the motion to appoint Lindsay Osteen as the second cost the second constable. Term second. expiring town meeting 2025. Second. <laughs> More discussion. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next, select, uh, item A, select board to discuss and consider approving FY25 water and sewer fund budgets, which are in our packet now towards the back, right? Can we get towards the back? They're like in the middle. In the middle. <laughs> oh, yeah, because there's a yeah. cemetery policy. In there. All right. So. Just, yeah. Can, Sorry, I'm just skimming some. I'd just like to get it up on the screen. Oh, can great idea. Here. Eric, do you just want to walk as he's doing that? Do you talk about the process for water and sewer rates? So this is not rates, this is just the budget. This is just expenses, just yeah. expenses. Yeah. And, and we'll the set the rates. rates like by September to meet right. the expenses. Yep. Right. So we're just looking at the budget now and then we have a separate discussion about rates. Because right, we need to get an expense budget yep. in place for July 1st. And then we'll use and we the really expense have budget. Until the first quarter billing comes out September 30th to get our rates in place. So that gives us. So, the, so we'll pass a budget, and then once we have a budget, then we can figure out what the rates need to be to raise that. Correct. Which I had forgotten, so I had to email. <laughs> Proposing to reduce the capital fund transfer by a little bit because it has a relatively healthy um, capital fund right now, about over 700000 we have in capital. Um, and because the fact that most people have water and sewer, and sewer um, has a much larger increase because we'll talk about why, um, really like to keep the water fairly level if we can, just because. Um, so the only problem I would have with reducing that is we need to get the meters in, period. Mm -hmm. We need to spend the money, mm -hmm. hire a contractor, get the meters in. We ordered 12. We 12 need 60 days. last I knew. I think 80. Yeah. So what? It's all, it's mobile homes. It's all yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But the question I is, but, uh, my, why not? If we've got money in the bank right. and we've got a need, right. why aren't we? Why, are we hiring, why haven't we done it? Why don't we hire somebody to do it? When did we put the meters in? Five years ago? No, uh, like, two, like nine years ago. So We also talk about it every year. Yeah, it's time. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, so first of all, for, for many of us that are paying, we may be overpaying. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's not fair. Right, it's, I totally agree. I mean, it's, it's your no, meter. Right. Yeah, well, yeah, but, I mean, they also. I pretty much guaranteed oh, a single old person is paying more than they should guaranteed. Well, we know that because the water rates are higher if you're off the meter. Right. So. Right. When you yeah. get the meters. Hence my yeah. point. Yeah. And I don't know if that means we can't take it out or not. <clears throat> the money's in there, right? No, it's but just all I'm saying is like setting aside forty thousand instead of fifty thousand this year because we already have a healthy fund balance. Yeah, like which completely sort of different discussion about, yes, we absolutely need to put out an RFP for But it. that money's already in there is what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah. absolutely. So that's part of what's yes. up, the 700,000 mm -hmm. is already, 
yes. there, so we don't yes, need to make it. Yes, we have more. a chunk for. Right, so we can still pick it up, and we're still putting in forty thousand. Right, just right. yeah, that's fine. I just, I like I said, I really want. I just to wanted to make sure we were really level because sewer yep. is not. I just wanted nice. to make sure we were not yeah. jeopardizing getting that done in the next ninety days because so it's it, be so snowing. Why do we have a eighteen percent increase in? Because it, you take, because the, the water and sewer funds pay a percentage to office for the work, the time, oh, oh, the, 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 the inner fund transfers, mm -hmm. so the salaries and benefits associated with that, with the office, translates to here. It's all formula based. Oh, it's like, it's, uh, I don't know, it's okay. like, like no, 10, 14, 14 percent is what I think it is. That's something like that. It's like a certain percentage of, I don't know what off the top the, of my head. Is the same thing the next line? Correct, same thing. Transfer. Because when our yeah. salary benefits goes up, it affects them because yep. these funds Got pay it. funds to the general for the time that the staff spends on the enterprise funds. Got it. Thank you. It's not just Kenny's. And the, right. It's not just the water operator. It's everything associated right, with right, right. running that. Yep. And we've, we've actually ratcheted that down. It used to be somewhere around 20% we did. And now um, I think I'm, it's around 14-ish percent mm -hmm. um, of time, yep. uh, and, you know, the cost. So yes, that's where that comes from. Okay. So in this scenario, because of that increase, I was thinking we'd reduce the capital a little bit because the capital yep. is pretty healthy. And it'd be just a five thousand dollar increase, one point six two percent, is what I like to see for the water. Okay. Good. Okay. Show us the okay, and then let's do the water capital. Just yeah. Take a quick look at that. Do we, I know we've probably, I don't want to, we don't need to like delve into this conversation too much, Casey, but do we have any uh, like projected dates for replacement for some of these? Like for example, the reservoir roof replacement, are we assuming that's going to be far out because it's 40 like, years from now? It's a yeah. Yeah, it's, it's only yeah. a few years old, so, so okay. we kind of um, figured we could take a couple of years off from that. Um, yeah, it should be like 30 something years okay. from now. Yeah. Um, so, uh, didn't we do a concrete roof on that? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 yeah, it should last quite a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, 30 to 40 years, right? So, we, um, so this is, and in this scenario, I have the capital just going up $3,000 a year over the next three years. Okay. Um, so, that's, that's what we're looking at here. This is roughly what we would set aside so here. So like general for the water side, we don't have, I mean, we already talked about it in the new meters, but we don't, the things that actually happen on a fairly regular basis that are kind of capital things are well refurbishment, right? Happens on That's a schedule. Five, yeah. I think, yeah. Um, and what else? Capital replacement, I guess. Well, we've got some the the main coming up Wolcott Street is a project in the future that needs it's to happen. Project in the making. The water main. Really? Yeah, it's original. Ooh. Yeah. So does that fall into one of these capital line items? Line upgrades. Yeah. Okay. Line upgrades and new years are the same line, but mm -hmm. but that's probably gonna be an expensive project. But you know, we can move stuff around. I mean, so we okay. So we bought a new pickup, and we still have twenty thousand dollars in the truck. In the truck account? No, actually, because um, well, that balance has gone down because we just bought the truck like two weeks ago, and actually, so um, we probably should be able to less than that. We just paid for the truck, so it's actually pretty much. Uh, like my suggestion five grand was left. that we put. Water. First of all, it needs a decal on it because otherwise, when Kenny's out reading meters, he's just a dirty old man in a Ford Ranger sitting in front of my house. <laughs> um, quote. 
<laughs> yeah, fact. Uh, you know, you want yeah. people to recognize it, but I also think it'd be a great idea if that people could recognize it as a water and sewer expense truck, not a yep. highway maintenance truck. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to show people that it's the you know, yeah, other towns do. Yeah, we had a on the Dodge, but it was just like it says Hartwick Public Works. It won't well, that, that's fine. Really stick it to the. Front the front won't stick to the. the no, no magnets won't. But get yeah. break down. Yeah, we're gonna get big and big and, big and on the front on the back. We put operator super of the year. senior, <laughs> sewer super senior yeah, operator of the year, twenty yeah. three. So you're already on it. Should I have just yeah. kind of cast? So but no, you know what I'm saying. When mm -hmm. We do use that to go around the back, yep. just creep around and read electronic meters, which I already rubs people the wrong way sometimes. <laughs> what are you doing out there? So, any other questions about the capital? No. No. That's good to see work. That's just start right off with a big old negative number. Some of these numbers are weird in the capital. We'll get to that, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. So I've got a couple of things in yellow that I would want to talk about because. Um, not super pleased with this number right now, <laughs> a 9.3% increase. But the reality is, is it has nothing to do with the bond because we've been planning for that for the last three years. Um, so the bond really hasn't changed because in the last two budgets we had 130 and 140,000 either put into capital or planned for the bond. And because the project didn't get done, we put it in capital instead. So it has nothing to do with the bond. Our driving factors for this large increase are um, a couple of things. One, mostly being process chemicals. Um, oh, I should have wished I would have put So that in Casey, yellow. just a sec, when you yeah. say that the the increase has nothing to do with the bond yet the prior year budget. Because is zero we there. had right, but capital fund transfer was 140. No. It's just shifted yeah. categories, so it really doesn't have anything to do with it. And the year before that, it was 130. Yeah, so, yeah, I see. Okay. so the bond yeah. isn't what yeah. is driving this. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, process chemicals. Um, I've talked with. Um, I'll be about this a little bit. Um, so we were running off one lagoon. This is not. You're. We you better explain this, but we were running off one lagoon for most of fiscal year 24, um, which tell them what that does. It's a, a shortened process. Mm -hmm. So the, where we have to give it more juice, we have a 30-day retention time for the process, and running off of one lagoon is cuts it in half. So we need to inject more chemicals to precipitate the phosphorus out of the water. So we're having to add more chemicals, and the price of chemicals went up, and we've increased our dosage. So we needed to be permanent. So literally, in the current fiscal year, we have we budgeted 36, um, which was a we were a little bit high the year before, but we have spent probably like sixty-four thousand. So, and, and in, so in the length of time that we were running off of one lagoon wasn't planned, right? So right, but so that money. So what we've done is we've already spent in the fiscal year we're in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we have two lagoons coming in this fiscal budget. Correct. So, so that's what I'm saying. We we just trying to make up spend. 60 again, but we that we need to figure out what that number should look like, I guess, um, in our discussions. Um, uh, I think that's a huge increase, $24,000. That's yeah. With the anaerobic reactor cell going back online, that that lagoon one was completely taken offline. Yeah, I and in that first cell, the first cell in lagoon one, the anaerobic reactor cell is supposed to take the majority of the phosphorus out of the water. So. Mm -hmm. I, I think we could safely move that number down, although the, the price of chemicals have gone up. Right, but we so 50? we should be using the yeah, same 50, amount as we were previous, correct? We shouldn't be, no. No, what we used previous to the one lagoon. We had two lagoons? Correct. That's the number with yes. a price yeah. increase. That's the so use, should it be like the 40, usage. Yeah. I think we should move it to put it at 45. 45. Right, that's what well, they've gone up that much. Yeah. And, and then. 
you know, we still have to make it's, sure. And so they've limited some of the, the stuff you can use. Some of the the components to the what the, the compounds, mm -hmm. like those are harder to get. So I also so this is not exactly budget, but related to mm -hmm. using more chemicals to precipitate phosphorus. Doesn't that create more sludge? Yeah. But, I mean, we, we need to make the sludge. We need to make solids in the water or we buy them. Yeah, and, right. yeah. Right. It's just we're, like, it's bad that we were in that situation that long because that's. Well, what we need is uh, a freak, more frequent uh, sludge cleanup. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a result of the flood, right? No. No, no. well, no. It was the length of the project was mm -hmm. the result. Oh, yes. Yes, that's yeah. what I mean. Yes, that's, okay. It was delayed. And yes. you're, yeah. you're, re you're, yes. reflecting, you're reflecting that in the capital. We haven't gotten there yet, but so like we're, we're saving more for sludge disposal. How do we have two hundred? That's really all we're saving for right, right. now. So right. how do we have 260000 and then when we just... Wait, wait, wait. Is everybody jumping to capital? Yeah, we're not there yet. Off. But it's, okay. a, part of this, it's a part of this discussion because if, we, if we're producing more sludge, then we're... Let's wait see. till we get to capital. Right. Okay. The, I mean, the capital is going to be something we need to discuss because mm -hmm. right now I only put ten thousand dollars in because yeah. it was not a it was a really high number, so I only put a little bit. Um, plant cool. electricity um, we have to talk about, and I'm sure because we spent forty five thousand in fiscal year twenty three, but I think some of that was related to the project lagoon clean out lagoon clean out. So. Yeah. I'm just not sure that, I don't know if we, we might be able to play with that a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's going to be 45, I, I was thinking 35, I don't know. And then, so yeah, those are I guess the only real flexibility we have right now. Because as you can see, I mean, I pretty much nickeled and dime every single category, like $200 here, three, like, and it's... The, the electricity was 18000 Right, but that go builds the project, not right. here. So okay, yeah. yeah, the temp power for that, yeah. yeah. But the rate did go up. Yeah, it did. Um, but shouldn't we have more efficient equipment in there? Well, now? that's the thing is, yeah. I just I'm not even sure. Yeah, BFD like, softer, yeah. so. So we should see a slight decrease in our usage. Uh, oh. the, that Merck project actually did an energy audit on the way they're working on, oh. it, so that's going to be good information. Yeah. I guess I guess I just I it's great that we're gonna have it's gonna be more energy efficient, but I also don't want to put us in a position where we're overspending our budget. Yeah. It, you know, I just Not the end like, of the world. can we one question is do we have to pass this tonight or can we look back at like can we figure out what our electricity what's more realistic? Well we don't know yet because we aren't back up to the plant isn't back up right. to running. Um, it's kind of, well, so it's kind of difficult. Forty-five is what we spent fiscal year twenty-three. Year to date, this year with probably like two more bills to go because the way it runs, they're like the fifteenth and fifteenth. So probably and we have data through like April fifteenth. Yeah, maybe May fifteenth. Um, I think we were at like thirty-three. So we're we're probably going to be fairly close okay. to what we expected here. Um, I think 35 is a good number because of the, the equipment is new now mm -hmm. and it's more energy efficient. And I don't think it's the average is on. That's not one I think it will be. It should be way over. over. Right. And we're a little heavy on our chemicals, hopefully, because once we get that smooth running thin on, too. I mean, that's, just, that's the hope, right? Once yeah. we get it all back up and yeah. all new and all running, we should be. And more energy efficient, more efficient running, um, more sludge because we'll be made to make it, but that's not our decision, that's the state response decision. So Casey, do you happen to know, so I'm here, we only go back two years, but on the, um, the capital fund transfer, um, do you know, so the last two years were just, were because we were anticipating the bond payment, but what did we put in there before that? Um, yeah, I don't know off the top of my head. It's 10,000. I think it's really scary. Uh, it is. It absolutely is. Um, and that's why I want to discuss it. But um, everything else is pretty much new. So in, in the capital plan, it's basically mm -hmm. for stage. That, that's it right now. Because 
um, capital set aside is what's really going to set right. this. So are we in capital? It's going to drive this way up. So, so let's go capital. Okay. Everybody wants to go capital. Capital. Let's go to capital. Okay. okay. To do two things, I have to share the screen first, and then. So this doesn't show us what we put aside last year. We didn't put anything aside for any of these things. We had to have because they got balances. Oh, okay. See what I'm saying? Like where's 23 in the actual whatever. The last that came with it, it's on the other budget. For what we put. For what we put. This yeah, doesn't show the past. What we put in. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's what you just asked, Eric, right? With the oh, I see, because she only put 10000 on because that's all we're putting yeah. in. Yeah. So we don't know what was but, but, put in in 24. Okay. You know, well, 140 was put in because that was what was on the other page. Right, but it doesn't show that we put 25000 in manhole. Well, you put, right, right, so in fiscal year 23, we put 130, and in the current fiscal year, we put 140. And now in fiscal year 25, we'll actually have a bond payment. So we're, that just shifts to bond payment of 140 to bond. That's why I only did 10 to capital because it's going to be a huge increase if we do more than that. I think maybe what Danny was asking was this capital doesn't show. So now we so how we how that 140 from right. Last year was so we used to put 130 months. in across all of these items, mm -hmm. and now we've converted that into 130 bond payments, so we don't have any money to put into any of these other things? That's exactly what we're yes. looking at. Well, that's then, not... Hold on, hold on. The new boiler, so for example, the new boiler was replaced in the project. It's because most of these things were part of the they, project. The that's why we're cover not going to right now. was so replaced in the project. The, so the only thing... The ration system was so replaced in the project. This is to my point yeah. <clears throat> that I'm trying to grasped and this yeah. maybe just me is so these amounts are left over balances with a new new car everything's yes. fixed yeah okay so uh, that's good news yeah so we're starting at zero and this is what we have for future so yes. that's really good I understand that yeah. the 260 80 80 80 80 8 for sludge uh, why? I mean, I know that the sludge removal we just did was three times as expensive as it was supposed to be. One point two million. So, we didn't have to spend any of our two hundred sixty thousand dollars. We did spend a little bit of our sewer capital because we, we were struggling sludge. terrible to find that yep. money. Yep. Sludge. And we had it. We no. used it. We used some of it. We used like um, four hundred. Fifty thousand of our capital for the project. So that two hundred sixty. It's because last year when you guys did the capital plan, we shifted some money from some of these categories that had higher balances, and we knew that they were going to be replaced in the project. We shifted some of the money into sludge disposal because we knew that was going to be the, the next right. need in like five years from now. So I guess the only thing that I think that we should. We should take a, a real hard look at is if, if we know that that's going to be well over half a million dollars well, the next time we do a sludge removal. Uh, or are you thinking when, you're doing when do you when do you since like when do you expect the next sludge clean out? That's a good question. You know, man. It, it would be. I mean, do do we do what we historically have done? Is let no. it go forty years and no. clean it doesn't seem it out. like we need to do that. So I don't think we can do that in today's right, world. Right. So I would say you're going to do a little bit each year. I just don't know how much. We don't have any equipment right. or. I mean, we don't system. need to answer it tonight because we, we don't, don't have, have a system to money, post. But yeah, we, we need to figure that out because I think that is a question that we're trying to get answered in this redesign and rebuild. Because you see what I'm saying. If it costs us two million dollars to get a sludge in ten years, mm -hmm. we've only got half a million. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, I mean, we can only do what we can do. But it does, those numbers, I, I don't. I don't. We're not. I don't see this budget anything but going up in the future. Right. Big time. I agree. I don't see any way without. I mean, 
Hopefully everything runs really smooth for 25 years. Um, I so think $10,000 $10, a year capital fund transfers. Really, it's not ideal, but the it's problem not even, is not that good. it's not going to work. We're not going to be able to set things, rates with, I mean, with that. It's we're going to kill the rate payers. We're just going like, to... What we need to... Well, we can't run the plant for free. Yeah, but the way we, the way we, we decide the rates is that we're not necessarily going to slap... 8% on everybody equally. We have, that's a whole other process. So if we're just getting the budget tonight, then it's up to us to figure out an equitable, the budget an equitable way for the rates to work. It's different, I think it's different than the way we do our town meeting budget because we can have that conversation about split like, so I, I think Danny's totally right that we also just took, we changed something, 9% is like really high, but um, I just don't think, I don't know if 10 is enough. Um, Yep. I'm more worried about the 26, 27, 28 numbers. I'm Me too, because those are going to have this to. This year. This year you can do it for one year. But you can't so do it. The, with the thing with the wastewater plant is I'm hoping that we're going to have a similar process, the same equipment, and the same expenses from here on out. But what they're, what FEMA, what the state of Vermont is going to allow us to do on this rebuild is going to dictate what we do. Um, what we need to be careful with is signing up for some new process with a bunch of bells and whistles. Right. And then it'll drive our energy costs up, it'll drive our equipment costs up. So, so I think that there's a lot of questions right now around the wastewater plant and where we're going to be at. I'd like to keep it the way it is and just build it higher because the process is the the most is the oldest process and it's the most Proven. cost effective. Proven. There's there's a three pumps that lift the water into the lagoons and the rest is gravity. So is is the hope that after the, this year it's going to kind of regulate when we spend less on the processing chemicals and on the electricity? Well, we're back up to two percent capacity. Right, yeah. but so ideally, in, over the next years, we could allocate some of those extra funds to the sludge removal. Or is that not? I don't think. No, no. no there are no extra funds in the there. cost of the chemicals, even though we're they're, they're going to come back down to the pre-flood level, right, or the pre-project level, but the cost of the chemicals has gone up, so it's actually increasing. And the electricity, well, we're saving some. So we're using a little bit less for the cost of those. It has all of yes. Right, and we know all these things, even though they don't need to be replaced in the next five years, some of these things are going to need to be addressed within five years. You well, know we saying? also do slip lining periodically, right? right? Um, for example. That's what I'm saying. There's things that, that we're going to have to do. And there's a truck, part of the truck gets made and, for and, right here. The great removal system is going to need to be replaced. Yeah. Um, but our lift stations are, are all getting old. <coughs> yeah, the lift stations are going to have to be replaced, but hopefully that's going to be. <coughs> so anyway, for, I, for, for, I have no problem of leaving it low right now for this year, but they got repaired. Oh. We could based on the unknowns. They got flooded. Yeah, and repaired. But, so just, it's not all new. I just they actually put them lower because they needed more water. So we can, I'm, I'm fine with keeping it low this year, I think it's important, but I also, what I, I wouldn't be hesitant about the same issue we came up with our budget this year, our town budget, which is if we, you know, we can't guarantee that next year or the year after it's going to be actually 9%. You know, like, so I just, I think we need to be realistic about what, like, if we know we have to remove the grit removal system, that should be in our estimated cost line. Like, we need to fill in the estimate that we, I, I think, not tonight, but we need to really look at this, these capital costs and when they're coming. And if we're, <coughs> you know, for this year, we can approve that $10,000 for capital. But it sounds like, from what I'm hearing, that it should be more in FY26, 2728. So, um, like, that doesn't have to do with tonight, but I think we need to look into. Well, no, <coughs> we can, like, I can do something like 15, 20, 25, like, start going up 5,000 a year. Yeah. I think it needs to go 10, 20, 30, 40 at yeah. least. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous as hell. That's pretty small still. This stuff is, 
I mean, I, I don't know life expectancy of some of this stuff, but you know, the, the cover or the liner. So what's a liner cost? What's that liner project cost? I mean, I, <clears throat> so we're no. coming into times where high risk transitions in our time here on this board, three of us at least, transition from basically solely being a capital fund funded operation. And that those days are gone. I'm having the money in the, in the fund to buy and build things really doesn't happen in today's world. We're still doing it with a lot of stuff though. I think we're yeah. better than most of us. I, I, know, I know we are. Yeah, yeah, only because we had that fund and we wish I had to get it. Yeah. My point being is going forward, when this, in 30 years from today, when you have to put a new sewer plant in, it's going to be a billion dollars. Right. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to have to borrow for that. So we're going to be right. We can't save enough. We can't save enough. Thank you. That's, that's what I was trying to spit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We no longer can save enough to, to operate in today's world. So not tonight, but maybe as when we're doing our budgeting, maybe our old stuff, you know, our styles, maybe it's not right. I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't know the answer to that, but budgeting is different today than it was 10, 15 years ago when we started, but we were always banking money to, to purchase things for the town. It's, it's the whole idea of, um, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, but the, the, the powers that be say that we should be borrowing money to pay for capital improvements so that the generation using right. the, the asset is paying Thank for it at the time of using. So right. right now, the way banking money and saving it for That's future repairs, the burden is on the taxpayer today rather than the tax, and then Correct. the taxpayer Absolutely. 20 years doesn't have that, any right. tax life. But that's the way the American, everything was built. But People you can also argue started businesses right. so they could give them to their kids. Right. Well, we had but if you have anymore. to borrow every time, then it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. So if we already took a bond out, then we are currently in real time paying for that yeah. current project, and then we're going to be paying for that bond for 30 years, and then it's the next well, bond for 30 years. Like, that, that's, I agree. So, so it's, it's a mix. I think, I think right. we need to mix. I think we need to have a, a, a balance of that. <laughs> so, all right, I just want to, I want to, so we're, I feel like this is wide ranging about how we approach budgeting in general, but I want to just kind of bring us back in. We're looking at, we're, gonna, we're looking at water and sewer budgets and how do people feel about where we're at. With, so the water, we didn't, everybody was good with the water, right? Mm -hmm. The only thing yeah. I would like to see in the sewer fund is the estimated costs of things like the grit removal system that we know we're going to have to replace. Like OP just said, we know we're going to have to replace that at some point in the near-ish future. So even if even if we have enough saved, that's totally cool. But just seeing it in the estimated cost. So that yeah, I think so some of that's going to be good. So the, that could be for next year. Well, the grit removal system is going to have to be, the, the whole right. that whole system is going to have to be redesigned. So I don't... I so, we right, and, and, okay. and, and okay. But our conversation we just barely had tells me that <clears throat> we have a $130,000 bond payment for that plant down there. So we're already putting, in that bond payment, we're putting away for the future, because we're paying for it in the future. See what I'm saying? We're already paying. We're paying for work that was done over the last year. We're paying for equipment. Yes, yeah, but, I see where you're going with this. So but, we're, we're paying for equipment. Right. That we're also saving for replacement equipment. Right. <laughs> right. We're doing two, two things at once. Just like yeah. we had this discussion about the grader and the lease payment. Right. Where we're putting away money for the grader and the we're escalator. Double, we're double paying. And we're doing the same thing here. If, if you're telling us we have a uh, whatever, a blue Chevy that's going to have a 30 year life expectancy. We need to know the maintenance cost for that 30 years, not the replacement cost, because we know we cannot save enough to buy a new Chevy in 30 years. We're going to have to borrow the money for that new Chevy. No doubt about it. Because we're kidding ourselves if we think we're going to set enough aside to do the sludge removal when it's 
going to be a couple of million dollars when we do it. Unless we so we can't pay for what we did because we did it already. That's where we brought the money. Yeah. And we have a life expectancy. Mm -hmm. That investment carries that life expectancy of the capital investment. The maintenance is something that we have to budget for. But we know we can't budget enough money to buy a, a new sewer. Or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. so I would say just kind of glancing at a lot. So just glancing at this capital um, budget though, I think I mean what you're saying is just recognizing that we borrowed this time for the upgrade, we're gonna borrow next time. So there's no need to save for like the anaerobic cover because we just replaced it. We borrow, so we're gonna borrow next time. The only time you wouldn't you would change that is if like with the fire trucks where we decide to shift from borrowing to saving. So there's a period where you have a bond payment and you're putting money away for the next truck. So whatever. I mean if you could do that. But that's what we're kinda of doing here. But I guess where I when I just glance at this, I think if we just recognize that some of these things have been replaced with a bond, they're gonna be replaced by borrowing next time, and we just zero out some of these lines, that might that might zero out the negative in the plant upgrades line. Well, like some opening. of the reason that shows negative though is because there's like a spreadsheet and we pay all of like Neckley and Chase and El Eldridge and Elliott. We may not have gotten re um, reimbursed from that yet. So, so this is a snapshot in time. Like so on the day that I did this, that was the balance in that, but it's probably because we don't, we have reimbursements we haven't received. So we yet. should be at zero when this all shakes out for relative in that category. In that category. Oh, okay, so we're not which it won't be very negative, like right. thirty thousand ish maybe. Okay. In what category? Plant right. upgrades. Oh. Because okay. all everything related yeah, right. to the project so is your paid out of right. yeah. Easier. Gets paid out of there and there's definitely stuff we have no reimbursed for because I can only like, submit when it's not for God, that is good news. That's the first piece of good news you brought us for these <laughs> <Yeah>. budgets. So. <laughs> yeah. so does that so that's, that's does that the current balance, the total balance, does that affect that number though? The total at the bottom, yeah. I mean that number. If you right, because if this was say right, um, that's, that changes that, that number was a lot. zero. If that was zero, we've got yeah. Yeah, then the bottom, like that. Yeah. yeah. So things aren't as grim as they first as they first no. appeared. No. Okay, good. So because I when I yep. do this, I literally take so, it exactly from the yeah. spreadsheet. But again, there's stuff that hasn't been reimbursed. So. So do we want to? Are are people okay? I mean, it seems like the the biggest discussion here is how we budget in general going forward mm -hmm. but um, yeah and you know we are discussing a budget so it's appropriate but um, to do we think that this budget as as we're looking at it, as presented is gonna be okay for this year that's I think this budget is okay for this year giving a whole bunch of moving parts because stuff is going to shake out. I think next year we'll maybe have a little better idea on some of these things, like our electricity usage and our. And none of, our I mean, the one thing we got on our side is we should not have any huge capital costs on that plant for some time. And we still have so, a pretty healthy balance. Right. I think still, so that's that. Number, that actually was six hundred something dollars. Right. Seven hundred thousand yeah, dollars. That's so pretty healthy. We're we're not. That makes that makes me feel a lot better. I mean, my only question about that is if we feel like it's healthy and we feel like we're not going to have any big improvements, can we pull from it to get the cost down for tax payments? I don't. No, I don't like that. You're saying pull from capital to offset some of the that's what we did for, costs? That's what we did for water. But that's so. what Casey's already, like, the, it's down to 10000 to the cap. Right. That's pretty skinny. So like how much, does, save how much does a little slip lining cost? A lot, I think. You know, Seventy thousand. Yeah. So, and that's just doing. A and, little bit. You know, and if you look at the number, and I think it's important that number be at almost seven hundred thousand dollars at the bottom, is our balance and our estimated cost for projects, uh, future projects, is only one point one. So, you know, and that, if you're going to look at this budget and this capital budget, that's not that's not really. It's not terrible. It's no, not at all. Especially when we have no capital projects planned for the next five years. That's what I'm saying. And you know what I'm saying? So uh, this year we have 
the flexibility to, to, to leave it where it is, let things shake out, let our plant get back online, let our reimbursements for the, all these upgrades get yep. completed, yes. see what our electricity cost is going to be, yep. and make some hard decisions on the budget and maybe even yep. the way we structure our capital fund next year. Yep. Yeah. So can you... That's a motion, by the way. So, so yeah. Casey's got the. Um, so if we take the ten thousand. So capital plan. Or is it ten twenty thirty forty yeah. is what we're going to change it to from what was originally presented. Which doesn't really change the budget, but yes. Um, and then no, the man, actual what we the do. sewer yeah. budget. Um, we reduced process chemicals from sixty to forty five was really the only change, which brought it from nine point three to Look six point four two. All right, so. Um, I, I'd really like to see them as two separate motions because it yep. seems like water is going to be as presented and sewer will be yep. those changes. I can motion to approve the FY25 water fund, fund budget as presented. Second. Any more discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next motion needs to be would be for the 6.42 of the 33,000 for this and then changing the capital amounts to be 10, 20, 30, 40 is what I'd like to see. And we want the motion to be the for 553,277. Yeah, yeah, if that's fine, sure. Yeah. So moved. <laughs> Second. <laughs> and just more discussion on sewer. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Mm. The motion carries. Thank you for the lively discussion and the budgeting. Valuable. Budgeting. Can I just, can I just yeah, go ahead. Uh, recap that we're, so it sounds like we're committing to upgrading 12, like adding 12 meters that's in this current. Yeah. Right. That's what Opie said. Unless we get somebody outside to do it, that's not going to happen. That's, we do need right. to get somebody outside to do it, right? Yeah. yeah. So do we need to have a discussion about that? Like, not now. Just, okay. Yep. That's not okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I have a great radio. Okay. Yeah. I just don't want to forget. Don't be strapped. Yeah, it's on the board downstairs too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next item nine, select board to consider approving the revised cemetery policy to include Main Street Fairview and Maple Street. Are those so the only revisions? What yeah, you have in front of you is the first paragraph, the select board starts as the cemetery commission. It used to say like for section seven yeah. now it says for all of them. And then I just changed like the font and a little bit of formatting to make it look a little friendlier. That's literally the only content change. Motion to approve the revised cemetery policy to include Main Street, Fairview, and Maple Street cemeteries. Second. Uh, comment, discussion? So we have a model now. That oh, there's yeah. no, okay. Well, we don't have the, the only the Catholic, the Catholic cemetery. Part the Catholic of the, end of. But the other, yeah. all of here. Good. I'm happy with that. All right. It's better that way. So we had a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next. Um, <laughs> item 10, select board to review and consider accepting the bid proposal from Complete Demolition Services, Service LLC for the Flood Resilient Communities Fund projects and authorize the town manager to execute a contract. So. Um, Put your phone down. Uh, <laughs> teenagers. <laughs> teenagers. Uh, so <laughs> we don't have the. We've got two bids. That's correct. They're not in here. Um, I think they're in the folder. They're in the folder. Okay. So I can you. I, I can hold on. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. So do you want further? Is that what you? Is that? Well, what no. Mean? I'm very confused as to total project cost. Uh, I see individual project costs. I can I figured those out, but I did not see. It was broken up and given later. Oh. So the board's <coughs> excavation so on the three, he broke it up for it. He had too many. This um, is total. Right, he said levels. that. Yeah. This is the. So this is. The this is higher level. Yep. Uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, and then the next one is the complete demolition LLC, whatever that is, yep. complete demolition service LLC. LLC. So this was a quick turnaround between site visit and, and 
presentation of the, the, of the bid. He's got the numbers. I got some numbers. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he started out like this one was a sheet for 209 School Street. Yeah. And he has a total of yeah. 50 yeah. and then goes on for the next one is... Cary Road. I can't see it. Cary Road. Road. Okay, and that 124, that amount. Then it's... Um, Crossbury Road. That amount, and then the in is right here, Mill Street. That's the big one. Two hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. That's the asbestos. Yes, because the asbestos is asbestos. in the ground. It's yeah. probably yeah. ground. And yeah. from here to Lake Champlain. Yeah. 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 Give the rest. I'm of impressed with question. it so far. All right. So, um, and this. Uh, Oh, remind us about how this gets paid for. This is part of the whole. This is the flood resilience communities program grant, so it's completely. I mean, we have to pay for it, but we get reimbursed. Yeah. And it's monthly, so it's the reimbursements. Mm -hmm. And this actually yeah. took us over the amount he just amended us and gave us the extra money. Yeah. Okay. There's so no it's all match. Approved. There's no match. Well, he's no certainly going to eat well. Huh? I said he's certainly going to eat well. He's going to well, sign a contract with all metals. Somebody's going to eat well. <laughs> a whole bunch of them. Um, Danny, we had nine companies there, and this is the only company. Yeah, I, I just, you, all the arguments are not going to make me feel good about this. Okay. Um, so we need so to get the we need to get the. In how many contractors? How many contractors did we have from Hardwick? We had. Um, I don't. Okay, that well, doesn't matter. We got what I, we got. I actually, I want to know. Oh, you mean at the meeting? Yeah, how many? How many so people came and looked at it? <coughs> how many contractors did we have from Hardwick? Um, no. I bet we have more than that. I think so. Um, I do. I do. One. One. One contractor from Hardwick. So, did you do this one? No, we only have two. two. It's it's they, are you considering? All metals. And they didn't so, submit a bit. It's not about. So, but gravel, yeah. so gravel's not. Oh, yeah. gravel. Gravel can yeah. yeah. it, It's not, it's not, yeah, that's not really, I don't know. It's, again, that's not helping. It's not I helping. would like to see, like, for example, this water meter project. Yeah. I would like to see people from this area submit a bid to do that, those projects. Well, we, so, to is, my point, <laughs> You're not going to get people to submit bids for projects like that when you have these type of projects that are astronomically profitable out there. Why would you want to come to work for the town of Hardwick and, and be fair about your wages? So it is what it is. Danny, I'll give you all that. It is what Danny, it is. Just can, I, can I just give you one other piece of information though? Mm -hmm. he, this is highly specialized because of the asbestos. Yeah. I, I think we would have received lots of other bids and they would have maybe have been more competitive in your mind so if there was true. no asbestos. It's the asbestos right. remediation. The guy knows. I mean, I, I haven't had to ask. Everything that I need mm -hmm. has happened. Good. And it's all permitted. We're probably going to be checked by EPA. I want to make sure this is done right. And so I'm impressed and I'm, I think this is a good good match for this. And I, I know what you're looking at. So. And it gets reimbursed. Right. It's it's nothing out of the free money. Of it's, it's money out of your other pocket. Yeah, it's out of your other pocket. <laughs> We're still paying for it, but it's not out of your property tax pocket. It's out of your income tax pocket. Right. Yeah. We um, can we can reject the bids and go back up to this. We could. I don't know. No. 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 no it's I'm, the law. I'm the only one that seems to have any concerns, so it's not worth. Well, I just feel like everything costs an awful lot lately, so mm -hmm. I guess that's why I wasn't. So I will make a motion to accept the bid proposal from the Complete Demolition, Demolition Service LLC for the FRCF projects and authorize the So what's the total amount before I say yes? 310 and 937 or, nine, 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 seven or something? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So we have a motion. Do we have a second? Oh, I can second that. More discussion. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Doesn't also, have to be unanimous. Does, it? does not. No. All opposed. No. And, and nay, but the ayes have it. So the motion carries. Thank you. And then Sherry. Uh,
Kristen is going to be the clerk of the works to make sure the works all done correctly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. There we so go. Danny voted no. Yes. Uh, you got to give me a hard hat, though. He voted no. <laughs> yeah. You can have my hard hat. Yeah. Okay. I, I was going to ask one. I got a deflected vest for you. I have a I got a vest. I mean, <laughs> this stuff leaves a bad that. taste in my mouth, too. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. I just make well, it funny. They could bury all the concrete on our property, but then we'd have to dig it up in 20 years yeah, and, pay it, yeah. and pay to dispose of that. Yeah. Yeah. So, 20 years is going to cost more than that. Right. Now. And, like, you know, unfortunately, the majority of the asbestos is not. Oh, now, that's that, Danny. That's Secretary the problem. Policy. Danny. What's that? All that, that parking lot, it's all mixed in with the parking lot. Hey, I know a guy that can haul dirty there. <laughs> well, maybe he's hauling for this he guy. This guy permit. subcontracted another group. Give him a another card. Party too. Call. There you go. All right, next item 11 uh, is the cemetery. Oh, it's on the All the way to the bottom. Um, item 11, select board to approve and sign the FY25 Lamoille County Sheriff Department dispatch contract. Um, this is for fire and police. And we all pretty much always contract with yeah. the Moyle yes. County yeah. Sheriffs. They're the only ones who provide this service in our area. Yeah, we have some of the best service, service too. Hmm? They provide some of the best service. Oh, so that's good to hear. So excellent. Yeah, no, they've always uh, good. Yeah. I can and motion to approve the FY twenty five of Moyle County Sheriff's Department dispatch. Do you need to have it be signed? Could you? You all have to sign. Okay. And can you include oh. the total amount in your in the, in the amount of forty four thousand in the total amount of forty four thousand six hundred twenty five dollars and six cents. Second. Great. Wait a second. Any uh, comments or questions about uh, Rogers? Is there proposal? All right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Motion carries. Next. Um, Select board reports, new business or old business. So the foundation for the addition at the townhouse is in. Really? Yep. Nice. Oh, got our cool. first build. Yeah. Great. Uh, so it's great. We're awesome. Moving on. Is we old business? Did we go by that? Where they're all together. Go ahead. Oh. I just want to give a really quick shout out to um, Eric Stevens has been redoing. Uh, the old Hunt House in East Harvick. He got a historic preservation oh, yeah, yeah. grant um, because East Harvick is a designated village center. And if anybody hasn't driven by, uh, Stark Construction is doing a really, really amazing job. Um, it's, a, it's a cool project. Is that the one that makes the computers? Right across yeah. from the yeah. post office. What did you call that? I'm sorry. It's We call it the old Hunt House. Oh, okay. I heard 60, 60, house. 67 Main Street, I believe, is the address. <laughs> the Hunt family owned it for a long time. Where are you folks at with the removal of the bridge on Porter Brook? You're looking at me. Porter Brook. Uh, you guys are the ones that decided to take it out. Farms, right? you? Yeah, it's yeah. Out. Carbon Farms. Yeah, it's not Porter Brook. I just needed to walk around. Yes. Okay. Opie, what's happening with the uh, Carter Farms? We, there's no plan. We don't have a timeline at this point. I've been communicating with Reno Demers regarding some alternatives for when we pull the bridge, uh, putting some hardwood timbers down uh, to span the concrete deck and remove the gravel, the two feet of gravel that's on the concrete deck. But there's a considerable about a cracking underneath and it's, it doesn't look good underneath the bridge. It really doesn't. So you're doing what's prudent? We're taking our time okay. and trying to figure this out. Okay. It's it's not a, it's not an ideal situation. No, no. it's a bad one. All the way around. Yeah. All the way around. And I've gotten um, some communication from some of the other residents on the road that are uh, pretty pretty discouraged that uh, we're making a decision to pull this for one resident. Um, I might have mentioned that. Yeah. Just so you guys know. So there's no timeline. Okay. Have you spoken with Mr. Magus? Because he was filled with hope. Yeah. 
when he left here. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure his first crop is already in. So he's already had to deal with it not being out. So mm -hmm. I just think it, it's unfortunate that we told those folks when they were here mm -hmm. that we were going to do it. Yeah. It was a split. Had, had, say had to happen that night. We're, we did say since that meeting we had a site inspection yep. from FEMA. That's fine. As long as it's been communicated to those folks. To collect. Reno's been in right and out there. of the office. Good. Good. And uh, we're hoping to still get There's no win here. That. This is not a it's win. It's not a win-win. No, there's no win here at all. Well, other than trying to get the bridge finally replaced. Yeah, that is right. the only thing, but that's yeah. that's in the state's hands, correct? No, we can put an RFP out for that. We have a hydraulic study. Oh, we do? Yeah. What's another project? Yeah, let's check. Yeah. <laughs> it's a capacity thing. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. No. We yeah. want to get we want to get some of the, the stuff cleaned up. Uh, and that's FEMA money project. That, I mean, that, I understand the capacity. Don't get me There's, there's. Um, I fully the, understand the that. emergency work that is FEMA. installing the temporary bridge that we we need to get obligated, and then there's the permanent work that needs to be designed by an engineer. And so we have to find our left and permitted. Yeah, that project to to. To even get that project out to bid here, it's a year. Well, that's kind of one of the things that we're, we're saying. Is, yeah. You know, right. Right. so what's our financial obligation to that project? Do we have to pay for everything before we get reimbursed? Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah. With, with or without guarantee of reimbursement? What do you mean? From FEMA. From FEMA. Do we know they're going to if reimburse? We do it so, all yeah, so we FEMA. We get reimbursed by FEMA. Right. Eventually. If we follow so, their rules. Okay. I'm just trying to get to the root of why we're not moving forward. And that you're telling me that, and I understand this, mm -hmm. is your office's capacity to for all these dozens of projects that the flood created. Yeah, I'd like to get this this demo stuff off the ground. This was a milestone tonight. Yeah. And the EWP project, another milestone that we're reaching. But we can we can pivot and start moving towards. No, I I'm that. about finishing some before you get too many going. It's just right. I wondered if we should put together just a kind of a timeline mm -hmm. on these projects so that we all understand the gravity of mm -hmm. how long this is going to take. Right. To not just us, the community understand that. Yeah. This flood that happened in one night is going to take a decade mm -hmm. to repair. Potentially. Absolutely. Yeah. So somebody got repaired that night and somebody's going to get repaired in a decade. That's how that works. And I think if we can, as a select board, make the community aware of that, that would help. I think a lot of people have uh, bad feelings because they see something else getting fixed before theirs get fixed or, you know, they don't, um, they don't understand that some of this stuff is going to take I think I think years. people have unrealistic expectations Absolutely. Yep. of how how the systems that we've created work none of them are efficient no so i just want to especially when we're dealing with grants like the procurement process mm -hmm. and the bid process mm -hmm. and then finding people to bid on stuff is it takes time right it takes your guys your two people's mm -hmm. time Kristen. And Kristen. And Kristen. Um, do you mind if i say something yeah. Um, so one yeah, of the we things get you a seat right up here. I think <laughs> no, I just called on you. No, I was hired, but was explicitly told that I did not have to come to every one of your meetings. Um, <laughs> but that was John Jewett. <laughs> um, he's good going on. Uh, so one of the things that I, as I was symposium today about uh, flood mitigation and hazard mitigation, and one of the things that they have said they've kicked down to the municipalities is we need to start doing a long-term recovery planning document. And that would be the sort of thing that would answer exactly the questions what, you're exactly talking about. Because they're talking, so the first response was they're going to talk about doing it for the whole counties, but um, it was suggested that because we're in a different place than a lot of towns in the county, that we take it on ourselves. Mm -hmm. So We're ahead of the game. Yes. We are way ahead of many other towns. Good. Way ahead. I, yeah. I don't, I think we're doing fine, and I know how painstakingly slow stuff moves. So. so the four properties that we just purchased, 
most towns haven't even put it, didn't get into that program. We were the fourth town, and by the seventh town, the money was gone. Good job. Yeah. So, and most of the, and a lot of towns are now having the conversation about mitigation. We've already started that. Long, a week after. You know. Good. So. We also have a grant. Um, we're in the early stages of getting um, funding for <coughs> project management training for our entire staff. Yeah. So we can take on these projects and have them move more efficiently. I'm sure they have a. I'm sure there's a play. You know, play. Uh, well, a rumor. Game. Gameplay. No. Playbook. Playbook. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? There's yeah. App, there's all sorts of yeah. So we're we're moving in the direction to be able to handle multiple pro multiple large pro projects at a time. So I, and I just want to give a shout out to the, all you folks who do work in the town manager's office for carrying all these projects that are just I mean the normal business of the town hasn't changed. You're still doing all that stuff, mm -hmm. and now we have in addition to the projects we brought upon ourselves, mm. there are all these the projects the flood brought upon us and you guys are doing a great job managing that with the resources you have. So really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. So on a lighter note, not on a lighter note, but a scary note I noticed today, <laughs> flood related, how how low the Lamoil is. Yes. Yeah. There's like no water in it. And to think that it could go from that to what we had. Overflowing, yeah. It scares the shit but Jesus out of me that because a lot of all of there's so much damage along the waterways that's open face erosion that's happening now. Like if it rains like last Saturday or last time it rained, the Lamoil is brown. Be. Yeah. It's not it never used to be brown when it rained. One rainstorm brown brown with oil. Um, so we're still going to see flooding in places we haven't seen flooding mm -hmm. um, for years to come because it's changed everything. Yeah. Dramatically. So related, the Little River comment reminds me, uh, we did have a site visit for the people bidding on the pedestrian bridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they re I was reminded because at least one, maybe two of the contractors who were there said, look how low that river is. It'd be good to do this now, quick, get it done, get out of here. Mm -hmm. like, but you never know. But you can't get into the water until July 1st. Yeah, but yeah. He, they were just like, if it's low now like this, it's to do it. yeah, July I know, get it but, but all, the, all the permits, all the aquatic permits are July 1st. Right. Right, but the comment was more general about that. I know. Uh -huh. I know. The, the good news is, is there were five contractors there, and hopefully we'll see three at maybe three When's the bid actual bids uh, bid next closes week, next, next Friday. Friday. And, and we, I think there's... To start uh, July 1st. And people have been asking good questions, so it seems like yeah. some of those contractors are engaged. Probably a very decent job. Yeah. yeah. People are excited about it. And they were local bidders. All local. Cool. It's a very Not good site. Just around the area. Yeah. More so yeah. Lenneville. Sweet. Bridge people. Um, so yes. we're still in new business or old business? Yeah. Yep. All the above. So I sent out um, a recreation policy that was, has been on our website that mm -hmm. is quite outdated. Yeah. Um, I, I wonder if we want to consider creating a task force or something to work with the recreation department or else ask them to rework that policy um, to potentially include some of our town parks and the LVRT trailheads in some of their mm -hmm. responsibilities. That's great. It seems like a um, great project. <laughs> but you know, I, I sent that excellent. old recreation policy out and I heard nothing from anybody. So I'm putting it back out so there. I will, because uh, I wanted to voice my opinion. I think it's a great idea and I support it. I've, I've asked about you know, so I've always been concerned that we have a couple of different committees that work independently for the town versus have one committee. Um, so I support it, but it's going to be a difficult task. Well, I think um, we have to figure out some way to move forward on it I, and I, not just identify it as difficult. I, well, I, mean, um, I think that we could reach out to them and say we would like an updated policy and here are some of the 
parameters that we're looking for. And then that's, I mean. But it's our policy. Yeah. It's not their policy. It is. Right. It's a little bit like asking someone to rewrite their job description for their review, I think. Well, yeah, you know, we have some dedicated volunteers that I've, I've really put a lot of time and effort in certain well, segments also have of their staff. operation. I agree. I'm suppo I, I agree that we need to do something, and I'm not sure. We have an recreation person today, actually, right? Yes. We, mm -hmm. we can look at the policy. The town manager's office can look at the policy. Yeah, well, it's not really of any value from what I'm thinking, because I think that Highbrook Trails, the Long Valley Rail Trail, the Highbrook River Rail Trail, the Wright Farm Buffalo Mountain Trail, um, the 80 acres up on Buffalo that I'd love to see people know more about and be turned into something, all these things should be in the rep arena together. Now, whether you have a, a small group of folks micromanaging their little section or their little department or their little one thing, that's fine. But I think it all needs to be in the same budget, in the same line item, in the same, because we can't have four or five different recreational things going in different directions and fund them all from our budget. Well, and consolidating them also allows for us to look at other opportunities. I mean, you went to the outdoor rec thing. There's a lot of um, funding out there for outdoor recreation, but who's looking at that? I'm not. I mean, Opie went to the thing. Lots of uh, lots of ideas, lots of information, lots of interest. But how do we, you know? So we need some of those folks helping with that, and it's part of their current policy that they do that. But I haven't found that they have presented any opportunities to us. Yeah. Our group trails committee yes. has taken advantage of a lot of grant funding yeah. for Right, but they they're not uh, we, So well, I, I, I don't love y'all. The they're or they're not interested like, in being part of anything else though. I don't know if it's a task force that includes a couple of us so with them policy. or whether or whether they you know because Opie said that his office could take a look at the policy. Okay. Yeah, but that, that, okay. So we can That's start fine. there. Like, or do you want to have two of us do it? I mean, I'd be willing to work on it if you want to have two of us do it. But I don't think we need I think it's a select board policy and I think it should come from the select board or come from the town manager's office to the select board. I mean, can I, it I, I, I just want to know how I'm, it really, I'm all about it. I just want to see how we go. have action versus just well, talking. Then, and then it's another mm -hmm. thing that we talked about at a meeting a year ago before we know it. Because that happens mm -hmm. all the time. It does, because there are other things that are higher priority. So Yeah, it but does what's happen. a higher priority? We've got trailheads that have know, nothing sewer. on them, and we have stuff in storage. I think water, mm -hmm. sewer are both higher priority, if you're asking. Well, I'm asking, but I'm also, you know, pointing out that we have things that we haven't, we've written grants and received materials and we yeah. aren't right. using them. Because well, Tracy's... Yeah, but that's the town, not the rec committee, so I anyway, think it's a conversation let's, about. So I'd be happy to work on it with you if you okay. want to work on it. Oh, I want to see. Go Ooh. ahead. Uh, people need to stop parking at the health center to access the rail trail. Yeah. I thought yeah. they could off hours. Uh, they're not parking off hours. Oh. Yeah, like one night at 8 or 7. They're yeah. parking yeah. in front of the dumpster. Yeah. They're parking in the parking. Well, there's, parking. there's also no signage. Yeah, there's we're, no we're going to get a temporary yeah. sign. Yeah. Uh, I talked to Tracy today about putting a sign up at the end of Creamer Road with a big P. Good. Parking. Blue P. Yeah. And, uh, and is it a blue P or a green P? And how about the Creamery Road sign? Do we have a Creamery Road sign? Yeah. Actually, Probably. they're brown for. Uh, that's what that's what keeps getting said. I hear that. I hear that we have a road sign. We have a road sign. I might know a little bit about recreation. I did. There's no road years. sign on that side of the road. Okay. Oops. So that's what. I, yeah, it happens over. Put a road sign. Great. We just need a big awesome. key. What's it pay? I'll stand up there with one of those don't flashlights park, with a cone on. Don't park in, and the state is, has a okay. whole sign package okay. they're going to put up at okay. the end of the summer. Okay, so, okay. So, <laughs> that's what they said. Really? Well, yeah. I have another Perfect thing. Summer. So our, our um, policy to convey property, town property, that 
Danny, you and Kaylee were going to work on and didn't happen. I put together some things. I sent it out. Um, people looked at it. Uh, do we are we taking that up maybe at the next meeting? Yep. Next meeting. I put it on the agenda. This one? Next meeting. I had a few grammar things that I started looking at it a little bit. Okay. And we were going to look because at Because we're office. also opening the anybody who sent an offer for the properties that are up for sale. Yep, and we didn't we're have opening a those at the next meeting. We did that. Yeah, but it's only if I already have an idea. Okay. When is that going to happen? Because that was going to be like a 30 day deal and it's been 30 yeah. days. It's going to be on the next meeting. It's yeah. been in the new, it's posted everywhere. Right, but I mean, for how long? I think you guys want to take it. It's for two weeks. July. It was posted for two weeks. I don't remember. What's the local settlement on that? Well, we. Whoa, well, whoa, well, whoa, well, whoa. Well, well. Can we. So we met on the 16th of May, is the last time we met? Yes. Yeah. Uh, can we? I'd like to reel this back in. Yeah. So that that process is underway, and I believe I saw a date of early July. Yeah, there's only one meeting in July, so that's what's happening in July. Okay, great. The so, 20th of July. Uh, that's June. No, June. So why are we waiting until July? I don't understand. It was supposed to be two weeks, and we met on the 16th of May. Uh, I was told that it was going to be posted for 30 days. Well, 30 days is still not, right, uh, I, not July. It was just told about that so, last week, and so I got everything posted and put in the newspaper, and it's going to run in the newspaper for yeah. two weeks and everywhere else. Yep. We had a and short deadline. We, had a, we missed a deadline with the News and Citizen uh, because of the holiday. So the deadline to accept offers is July 8th at 3 p.m., according to what July we posted. July 8th. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Can we, I want us to move on. We have another meeting before then. Yeah. Um, this is, we're, we're rolling all around. I do want to just put a note that at some point I want to update on our computer systems and computer security generally. <coughs> we'll get me I, know you, I know you uh, uh, had consultants and, mm -hmm. and want to update on that at some point. Maybe next time or the time after. Okay, next um, we need to have an executive session for one VSA 313 for loan contract discussions to include town manager, business manager, and the board of ground. So moved. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And yes. Uh, that's everybody. So motion carries. We go to executive session. Can we go downstairs?